All right, what's going on? Five to go. Actually, we got six minutes and three seconds to go. So uh, Nuggets are up by five, and I got to make some arrangements here to get it going. Welcome to it. Hope you're doing all right. Saturday night, just hanging out with your boy D-Mac. What's up? Get you some numbers. We'll get you the post-game reaction. Uh, this is a game where uh, no Jokic, no Murray. Stayed at home as they should have. So I'm glad for that. That was the right choice by a mile. Uh, let's go live here. Boom. And good. We're good here. All right. Hey, hey. Hope you had a good day today. Uh, yeah, let's get some numbers here and see what's what. Nuggets up by five with 514 to go. I, I can't con <laughs> I can't consider this the Nuggets death zone, which they are number one in clutch defense. But without Jokic, without Murray on the road, I really don't know what's about to what's about to happen. It's impossible to predict. Want well, to thank Ed Prather at Prather the Real Estate, and we'll get a look at the uh, NCAA games too here in a second for you. Happy to spend some Saturday night with you. Got a barn burner. End of overtime. Oregon and Creighton tied at 71. Yikes. Wow, that's a good game. Games have been way better in the NCAA for sure. Uh, Tennessee stuck by Texas 62-58. Illinois beat Duquesne 89-63. Iowa State 67. Washington State 56. Uh, Arizona beat Dayton by 10. Michigan, North Carolina beat Michigan State. Good. 85-69. Gonzaga beat Kansas by 21. Kansas just wasn't the same. They barely got to this round. 89-268, although Kansas was a four seed. Uh, what else? Oh, good game with um, Oakland. Fun team to watch. And the uh, 30-year-old on their team only went 6-17 from three. They lose 79-73. There you go. So the game going on right now, Oregon-Creighton, that's a 11 versus a three. Oregon, the Pac-12 champion. Uh, there is Caldwell Pope with a big, is that a three? That's a three. Huge. I guess they're still clutch, man. I mean, they are still unbelievable when it matters most. No Murray, no Jokic, no problem. Five-game homestand coming up starting on Monday. And not a hard schedule either. So five games at home, not hard. This win tonight would make them 14-2. and two. AG with the block. They're up by eight, 350 to go. We'll give you what other post game we can. Let me see here. I watch... Um, Altitude on Fubo. Okay. Up by 10. Yeah, this thing's over. Super hard to imagine the Nuggets choking this way with 325 to go. Christian Brown, huge game. 17 points, 10 rebounds. We'll get you his numbers here in a second, but huge game by CB. Colin Gillespie looked good. Uh, big block by AG. Yeah, they're just going to walk away with this one now. Big win. No Jokic, no Murray. I mean, I, I get it. Portland sucks. They're without a million people. They're playing basically all rookies. You know, I get it. I get it. Shouldn't be surprised by it. Still, when you need to stack wins and you get a win like this, I mean, it's impressive. It's just incredible how many ways the Nuggets can win. It's kind of bananas. So it, this this one is over except for the final score. Uh, let's see. AG with 21. Michael Porter Jr. a little bit off. 4 of 11, 1 of 5 from 3 for 10. DeAndre Jordan, 11 minutes and uh, 11 points in 20 minutes. Reggie Jackson, really good game for Reggie. Needed that. Six of 11, one of four from three. 19 points, 13 points from KCP. 
Nobody really all that impressive for Portland, that's for sure. Uh, off the bench, P. Watt, 15 minutes, three points. Not a great shooting night for P. Watt. Two blocks, though. That's cool. Holiday, I think, got a little hurt. 33 minutes off the bench for Christian Brown, 7 to 15, 1 of 2 from 3, 17 points, 10 rebounds, plus 11. Player of the game is Christian Brown, despite AG's 21 points. CB's going to get a lot of flowers after this one for sure. Long three from Portland. Portland went 0 for 12 from three in the first half. They didn't hit a three pointer in the first half. Mm -mm. I don't even know these guys, man. I swear to God. Rupert, Anderson, Reed, Murray, Amara. I don't even know them. So, I bad, I guess. Michael Porter Jr. with the dunk, up 11, two minutes to go. Gravy. All gravy at this point. Just looking at some other numbers. Oof, a lot of turnovers. 10 turnovers for the Nuggets, 13 for the Blazers. I mean, not a great game. But the Nuggets, uh, yeah, I mean, 34.8% from three. Blazers kind of at the same percentage. Let's see where the Nuggets pulled this one away from. I'm going to have to go to the team stats for that one. Field goal percentage around the same. Three-point percentage about the same. Free throws about the same. A few more attempts to the line for the Nuggets. Uh, rebounds about the same. Bob, what was the difference in this game? More turnovers for the Blazers. More fast break, break points, 15-9 to nine for the Nuggets. Points in the paint about the same. Pretty close game, actually. But the Nuggets led as much as 15. They're up by 11 now. So just kind of a squeaky win. You know, just kind of squeaked away a little bit. But not a huge difference in this game. Not really. Take it. Doesn't matter. Let's look at some of the other NBA scores. Two minutes to go in this one. Thanks, Ed Prather and his team. Huge day for us. We officially, um, you know, barring some sort of other catastrophe, uh, agreed to terms with the buyers of our home. So signed the final contract. Three-pointer for Portland. I think I make it interesting. 109-101. Huge day. Huge day for us. Um. We really today came to terms with the buyers about uh, some things we got to take care of. Learned a lot in this process. But, yeah, got it done. Thank you to Ed Prather and his team. The best real estate team in Colorado. I talk about them all the time. Reach out to them at edprather.com. Knicks over the Nets, 105-103. Kings beat the Magic 109, 107. Hawks smoke the Hornets 132 to 91. AG misses, gets some rebound, misses. It's kind of a big call right here. Buck 36 to go. I was going to say with the Nuggets. Wizards squeak by the Raptors, uh, Raptors 112 to 109. Celtics over the Bulls. 124-113. Rockets, big win over the Jazz, 147-119. Suns beat the Spurs, 131-106. So, no um, play for Oklahoma City, nor with the Wolves. So, with the win tonight, the Nuggets will, they're doing this back and forth dance with Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is 49 and 20. The Nuggets will get 50 wins tonight. Good for them. They'll go to 50 and 21, so they'll have a half game lead over the Spur or the Thunder and a two game lead over the Timberwolves. 
with two games to play against the Timberwolves. The Nuggets' next five games. Uh, let's see here. Next five games are all at home. That's for sure. And they go against Memphis, who is terrible. Suns challenge, Minnesota challenge. That's on Friday. Sunday against Cleveland, and Wemby comes back to town on Tuesday. And in the middle of all that, you've got a four-game homestand by the Avalanche. So Ball Arena is going to be busy starting tomorrow at noon for Pittsburgh and the um, Avs, and then it just kind of keeps going all week. So your boy is going to be living at Ball Arena. So today I wanted to chill. I wanted to stay at home and do nothing. And my wife and her girlfriends went to the Mammoth game. They are, they are still out. I don't know where they are. Hopefully they're having fun. All right, buck 30 to go, up by eight. I mean, I think it's over. I guess one more bucket would, oh, they got to put the ball up. Oh, went off a blazer's foot. Gives the Nuggets 1.8 seconds to get a shot off. Mm -hmm. corner three by christian air ball clock runs out all right well you know you got a minute 22 crazier things have happened i mean i would be stunned if they give this up All right, here we go. We're going to drive. No, foul. Charge. Wow. Uh, that's poor. KCP takes the charge, of course. First team. KC, first team P. Oh, he took a fist to the face. Wow. Wow, KCB got punched. Defending the shot, got punched in the face. Oh, and now they're going to look at it for a flagrant. I don't know how that gets to be a flagrant. I, I think that was... Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, you got... Gosh, you just smacked KCP in the face. Well, we'll see what they give them. Get some of your comments here. If you got anything. Oh, we got a lot of comments here tonight. A lot of people watching. Appreciate it. Common foul, offensive foul. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Got too much skin. I wear a t-shirt under these things. Mile high, what is up? Nuggets better win this fucking game. They let the Blazers hang around for so long. Christian Brown playing fantastic. KCP gets first team all defense. That's the goal. AG is awesome. Completely agree. I got it. Uh, here we go. Oh, wow. KCP tried to throw it off a uh, blazer. Doesn't work. Blazers get the ball down. Eight minutes to go. Nice pass. Nice pass. Nice bucket. Six-point game. I mean, you just need one more bucket, and this thing's over. They're trying to double team. Wow, they get a steal on the double team. Missed the layup. Get the rebound. Get the layup. Four-point game. Wow. 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 No Jokic, no Murray. So Reggie got the ball in the inbounds, and just nobody was there to help him. Gets doubled. Loses the ball. Take it to the bucket. Miss. Offensive rebound. Christian loses the ball. And gets the bucket. Four-point game, minute to go. 
Damn. Marlowe's saying nothing's easy on the road. He's right about that. Uh, I hope we don't see Yoga Murray for two weeks. No, I mean, come on, Joe. Ain't like that, brother. Blazers coming undone. Well, not right now. They're not. Number one seed isn't worth it. Well, yeah, listen, they're going to, they need to play in the five game homestand because it's game day off, game day off, game day off, game day off, game. It's fine. They only have one more back to back. Uh, will Chauncey get another year? I wonder. Uh, I hope he does. I mean, I love Chauncey, but it would not surprise me if uh, that doesn't happen. But I hope so. I, I, you know, I don't know the ins and outs of Portland Trailblazer basketball. Game was tight for the most part. Well, the numbers tell you that. That's for sure. AG is a monster. Ain't no doubt about that. On that Fubo trial. Well, how are you liking it? I love it. I've had Fubo now for a couple of years. I think it's fantastic. I'm a fan. What can I tell you? I like watching the games. Spread was 10 and a half. Yeah, well, that's a bad spread. You didn't have yoga. You didn't have Murray. It's a road game. Road games are tough. All right, here we go. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 42 to go. Reggie driving. Reggie all the way. Reggie with the bucket. Great play by Reggie. Great ball handling. Great poise. Up by six. They need a quick bucket here. That's a travel. They they give him an exaggerated euro for the bucket. Four point game. Twenty seven to go. Ag. They don't foul him. Wow! Wow! What are they waiting for? Wow. So you could have fouled AG, who's not a great free throw shooter, but they foul KCP. AG's a 65% free throw shooter. KCP shoots like 90%. Reggie drives. Well, they had they had uh, one to give, so. So they're fine. No free throw shooting. Backcourt to KCP. Over to Reggie. Reggie gets fouled. Uh, 14.5 left. Up by four. I mean, they're going to be okay here. But uh, 10 and a half, that ain't good. I love how the radio call, he started wishing the leaving fans a safe drive home and talking junk. Cause did that tonight. He loves doing that. Cause more or less broadcast from the stands. So when he's saying, Hey, see you later. I mean, he's, they're like right there out here on Gillespie Island. Google Gillespie mom. Happy to see him in double digits. CB was on fire. Colin Gillespie's a legit. Hey, he's a legit baller, yo. And he's a hell of a lot better than Jalen Pickett. Jalen Pickett. I mean, who? Whatever, it's a second round draft pick, so I don't care, but way better. Will the real MPJ please stand up? Okay. Five point lead. Fourteen seconds. Drives Henderson. Henderson's an exciting young player. Drives to the bucket, and now AG's fouled. All right, AG is not a great free throw shooter. They're up three with 9.1 to go, so... Got to hit one of two. Kind of feel bad for Chauncey, decent coach, can't beat his hometown team. Yeah, they have, they have definitely had his number. All right, here's AG... Great night, 21 points. Front rim's the first one. You need to make this bucket, AG, or Portland can come down and tie it up with a three. Got to make it. And the Nuggets have a foul to give. 
Got it. Huge. That's huge. Huge bucket. 113, 109. Eight seconds. You got to put up a three. Oh, they've got Scoot Henderson drives for two. Makes it. They're up by two. Reggie's got the ball. He gets fouled. 1.9 seconds to go. Okay, so... All right, well, whatever. I mean, there's 1.9 seconds to go. So AG hit that bucket. That was a big bucket. I mean, they're fine. I mean, you can get in the weird territory of actually missing a bucket on a uh, free throw on purpose here if you wanted to, but you hit two and the game's clearly over, of course. First bucket, good. Uh, I mean, they're going to win. Next bucket cinches it for sure. They don't have to do anything. There's only 1.9 left. Missed it. Rebound. Throws it. No good. 114-111. Hey, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just good to get it done. 114-111, the final. The Nuggets pick up a road win with no Jokic, no Murray. And who cares how they won this one? It really doesn't matter. Who cares? Doesn't matter. You pick up a win. 50th win of the year. Way to go, Nuggets. Style points do not matter in this game. Does not matter. Getting the win is all that matters, and they got the win. Without Jogic, without Murray, getting those two some rest for a five-game homestand. They now are 50-21, and 21, technically tied with Oklahoma City. Um, game and a half in front of Minnesota. Five games in front of the Clippers, so that's done. And they've got 11 games to go, 14-2 and two since the All-Star break. I mean, really, really impressive. Really impressive. Who cares? Win is a win. Without best players, we'll take it. Roman, completely agree. Jeremy, big dubs, gotcha. Ho-hum Nuggets win 16-2 and two since the break. 14-2. and two. Go Buffs. Yes, Buffs tomorrow. Early game for the Buffs. Phew. Gotcha. Jokic will be playing the rest of the games, except maybe last one or two games. We do not need to sit him and do need a top two seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's this. Well, let me look at the schedule. But this, this very well could have been the last rest game that made sense. Let's see if they've got any more kind of one-off road games. One-off road games? Stupid. Unnecessary. I'm glad Yoga Chimuri could just rest at home. Didn't even travel. Uh, Dempsey with AG. Let's uh, hear this a little bit. Middle part of the third. They, the defense was spectacular. AG had three points. They built that 11-point lead. Ow, they just mentally got fatigued. Hands, but Katie. The turnover, some missed free throws. Portland never had a true chance, but they were right there of almost getting the sh chance. Well, not having Nicole Jokic. In. All right, did I miss him? fatigue and not knowing what to do in a close game however aaron gordon stepped up made some really big plays he is wet. oh no, no, here we go and that game looked super draining it was it as draining out there as it looked they were physical you know they were really physical uh they're letting them play they're letting us play so they made it hard they made it tough <laughs> They made it tough, uh, but we, we made it harder on ourselves than, we had to, than it had to be as well. But give credit to them. They played really hard. What did it require? Because they did come back in that third, played a lot better. Uh, what did it require defensively from you guys, especially in that fourth, to get this done? done? Well, well, we had to dig in, uh, just guarding our yard, you know, guarding one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing, you know. I think they were just breaking us down uh, off the one, one-on-ones. 
22 points, 12 rebounds, five assists for you, three blocks as well. Talk about your game out there tonight. It could be better, man. <laughs> I'm just glad we got the win. Uh, 14 to two now since the All Star break is this team. Um, is it, are you at? Is the stride where you want to be, or is there still room for improvement, even with that great record? I think there is room for improvement for us. Um, you know, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Whew. I think there is room for improvement, but I think we're we're approaching where we want to be uh, come April. Yeah. All right, Aaron, appreciate you, man. All right, thank all right. you. All right, all right, all right. Ag's a beast. He's awesome. All right, let's get some of your comments here. Welcome to it. The Nuggets uh, walk away with the win. 114 and 111 over the Trailblazers. That gives them 50 wins for the year. I think the Celtics have 50 wins. Not many other people, though. Excuse me. Yeah, wow. The Celtics are 57 and 14. Holy shit. Damn. Okay. Wow. Let's start there. 32 and three at home. One of those losses is to the Nuggets. Uh, and then they lost on the road. Wow. They have 57 wins. The Nuggets are just the second team in the NBA so far this year with 50 wins at 50 and 21. Way to go. They improved to 22 and 15 on the road. That's great. They've won, um, they're eight and two in their last 10. They've won three in a row. They've got a hot five game homestand. They got one of the uh, easiest schedules, remaining schedules in the NBA. So does Oklahoma City. Those two teams don't play each other. So technically, you need a little help because, um, Oklahoma City's got to play some games here. They have two games in hand to the Nuggets. So they're 49 and 20. The Nuggets are 50 and 21. So somewhere along the line, Oklahoma City is going to have to play three and four games, uh, three, uh, three games and four nights, back to backs. They got, they got some work to do. And Minnesota's not far behind. And Minnesota plays the Nuggets two more times. But of course, without Carl Anthony Towns and. Those games are at home, too, so, you know, we'll see. Without Yoga Murray, this game was exciting as hell because we got to see the bench show us they can hold their own. Call me crazy. This is a hard-fought one they should be proud of. Not calling you crazy at all. I, I actually agree. Uh, Golden State is 36-33, so if my math is correct, we clinched the first playoff berth in the West. Oh, did we? I don't think it says that. Uh, I, it would, it would be, no, nah, it doesn't say that, but Grizzlies eliminated trailblazers eliminated trailblazers are 19 and 52. They're not a good team, but still you take it as a really good win. You do. Dallas uh, makes it so we are not, all right? How about life coming at the Warriors fast? Houston is two games out from sitting the 2022 champs out of the playoffs. Yeah, crazy. I was under the impression there would be no math. RJ, it's Saturday night, yo. I, I'm, I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. Would the Celtics have 57 if they played in the West? Uh, good question. I think the West is far better than the East. Celtics have a really good team. Great win. Kick-ass Nuggets. Who cares if you won by one or 100? A win is a win. This is a game that builds a team just like Gary, Gary Kubiak and Iron Sharpens Iron. Uh, Daniel, I'm with you. I, I really don't care about style points in this one. It's fine by me. No dumb question. All right. I love no dumb questions. Uh, does AG get his number retired when it's all said and done? He's making a good case. How many championships does that involve? I think if there's three championships that he's part of, that's a no-brainer. Two is going to be interesting. These guys are focused, no doubt about it. 
Hanslick just dropped the S bomb, I think. It is cable. Every win down the stretch matters, plus stars got rest. RJ, completely agree. It's a great win. Great win, man. No beefs with this one, man. I'm pumped. I'm happy for this. Let's see, whatever. This game is stupid. Uh, are you concerned with the health of Jokic and Murray? Is Malone playing them too much? Well, Murray turned his ankle. So, I mean, just, you know, as long as it's not broken or anything, it's pretty mild. I'm not concerned. Jokic has a bit of an arm issue and a back issue. So I'll take, um, I'm fine. I, I think they're okay. Reggie, floor general. Yeah, good call. Reggie is a freaking liability if he's called upon. He tries uh, too goddamn hard. I don't know, man. He looked pretty good down the stretch tonight. I thought he had a pretty good game. I thought he was all right. Where, where? Made a big bucket down the end. They're showing Reggie Jackson highlights right now. I thought Reggie was fine. He He's going to be in the playoff rotation. There, there's a bunch, 25 minutes, 23 points, 7 of 12, 5 assists, 2 steals. Really? Where's every piece of basketball equipment, arm sleeves, goggles, Headband, wristbands, jock. What doesn't he wear? I've always felt like last year's championship run should have its own banner of every guy's name on it because of how special it really was. Um, All right. I mean, you know, they got a banner. A lot of these numbers will be retired. Jokic retired, and so should Carmelo's. You can have two 15s up there. We get it. Uh, Jamal, for sure. We'll see with AG. We'll see with Michael Porter Jr. We'll see with KCP. Bunch of will sees. Murray and Jokic, no doubt about it. The other starting five, I think you need a second championship. Uh, Winnipeg lost tonight. Helps our abs. That's good. As play at noon tomorrow. Kind of a crazy game. No Melo ever. He's a Nick. Ah, come on, bro. Come on. They went to the playoffs every year with them. High draft pick. Brought them back. Don't be a hater. Abs and Nuggets have a combined three losses and 17 wins in March so far. <laughs> That's, I did not realize that. That is awesome. First championship team, retire everyone's number. Okay. Can't wait to get Thomas Bryant's number up in the rafters. Uh, Yoki Chimuri will have statues in 10 to 15 years. Can't argue with that one. Only 115 up there. Oh my gosh. Come on. Give me a break. Lose your anger. You can have more than 115. It doesn't matter. It's fine. And they lost every year except Chauncey's one. Seven Nuggets players finished this game in double digits. Great teamwork. Yep, I agree. Great win. Great win. Let me give you those guys who got there. Um... I'll hang in there for a little bit here tonight. I love that you're watching. appreciate it, but I am a little tired. Ain't no doubt about it. We go 22 with AG. Well, let me refresh here. Make sure we got everything. All right. 22 with AG. Oh, well, hang on. 22 with AG. MPJ with 12. A little bit off. 11 from DeAndre Jordan. Reggie, 23. Caldwell Pope, 13. Colin Gillespie, 11 uh, in 19 minutes. CB with 17. Really strong game from Christian Brown. Now that That is impressive. There were nine players who played for the Nuggets, and seven of those nines were in double, double figures. Double digits. That's nice. That's nice. My wife. I was wondering about Strother, too. Well, what about Strother? He ain't playing. 
Do you have love for Melo because he went to Syracuse? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And the Nuggets. But yes, I will always love Melo because of Syracuse. Always. What's going on with Strother? He can't shoot. Pretty simple. That's not complicated. All the hate for Melo, but he made us relevant for eight years when we were not since Matumbo left. Yeah, I think you forget how bad they were without Melo. At this rate, we're going to induct Melo into the Nuggets Raptors when he's 80. Uh, as a sad Broncos fan, I'm so thankful for the Nuggets and Az. Yeah, it's, it's a blast. How's it not fun? And you've got 11 games and 12 nights. This is the one night off of the Mammoth they're playing. Ball Arena is a hopping joint. Pretty crazy place. Oh, we got Malone here early. Oh, all right. Usually we have to wait for Malone. So. Let's hear what the coach had to say. Never underestimate the human spirit. By Red Canary, find and stop threats anywhere. Sophisticated security teams trust Red Canary. We got you. And by Health One, dedicated to the health. All right, they're the sponsors. I watch uh, Altitude on Fubo. That's where I get my nuggets and my abs, and I do love the Fubo, and I do love everybody who's um, on Altitude. All right, hold on. Let me go back just a little bit. You got Fubo on the computer. You got it on the phone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can win a game without uh, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, uh, especially on the road, um, you know, that, you're always going to take that. You know, so proud of our group for you know, just fighting through it. It wasn't easy. Give them credit. You know, they came out of halftime uh, with the head of steam and, and got us on our heels. And we didn't play any defense that quarter, but down the stretch, obviously made enough plays to uh, to get the win. So uh, I think that's what um, fourteen and two since the All Star break now, which is incredible. And uh, winning on the road, division opponent, and um, over, there's some good things from tonight, and obviously some things that we can clean up. But uh, I thought Aaron was just relentless tonight. I give Aaron Gordon a ton of credit. For, you know, fighting through some of the no calls, staying aggressive. Uh, 22 points, 12 rebounds, five assists, three blocks. And I thought Christian Brown off the bench was just phenomenal. You know, you look at his game across the board, uh, 17 points, 10 boards, six assists, two blocks himself. Um, Reggie made some key plays down the stretch. Um, so, And then Colin had a good stretch in that first half. So uh, when you're out with two great players in Nicole and Jamal, you need everybody to step up. And uh, we got contributions from a lot of guys. Uh, Christian in particular, was that just the energy? He just immediately steps on the court and seems like the energy level of the game raises. Yeah, I think, you know, energy is one thing. Obviously, playing hard, bringing great energy uh, and effort to the game, but also, like, he produced. I mean, his rebounding. You know, uh, we challenged our guys at halftime. I said, listen, you guys are playing great defense, but we're ball watching. I mean, I just showed three clips at halftime where the shot goes up watching this, and they're all crashing. And, um, you know, for him to get five defensive rebounds, for Michael to get six, Aaron six, uh, DJ helped us on the glass, you know, but... I love the fact that CB was facilitating six assists, only one turnover. So he contributed across the, the whole entire board. And that's not just effort. That's also talent and skill. And uh, I thought that CB was just uh, incredible tonight. One more on CB. It seemed like he was in kind of a midseason slump. What, what do you think has kind of turned things around for him? Uh, I think getting back to, uh, you know, who he is, you know, and, and not forgetting that. And, um, you know, I think when we had a conversation probably two months ago and just showing him some clips, reinforcing the positive, this is how we need you to play. It's not always about percentages and, and numbers and stats. It's about being physical, being disciplined, being aggressive, and playing your game. I mean, he's been a winner every level he's been, as you know, Chris. And I think for him, just forgetting about some of the staying confident, staying aggressive. If I make a shot, don't drop your head. Just keep on playing. And, uh, you know, he just plays in attack mode all the time. And uh, he's one guy off our bench I never have to worry about if he's going to play hard. And uh, that's why, you know, aside from him and Reggie off the bench, I don't know who's going to play in the playoffs. I really don't. I mean, but, you know, CB played in the playoffs last year. He has final experience under his belt. And uh, you look at his numbers, you know, post-All-Star break, um, he's been shooting the ball lights out, but he's been contributing across the board, and that's been great to see. Is 61 games in play tonight this year? 61. I don't know. What's our record? 
15, 21. So we're going to go 11. Hey, I'm just worried about what we got when we go home. Memphis. I'm worried about Memphis right now. I believe we have a five game homestand uh, coming up, and you take those one game at a time. Obviously, we have the best fans in the NBA that make Ball Arena uh, a really tough place to play, but we can't rely on our fans. We, we got to bring it each and every night. And uh, once again, as you mentioned, to start this off, Scott, uh, to win a game without Nicole and Jamal, all the players in that locker room deserve credit. Uh, I told them this morning, you know, that it's not about who's not here, it's about who is here. We're trying to achieve something. That team's in our way. And give Chauncey and that team credit because they had a lot of guys out, but they play hard. Every time we played them this year, that team played hard. And I think that's a credit to Chauncey Billups. Coach, for years, you guys have been the hunter trying to win the championship. And now that you have, you're sort of the hunted, the team to beat. How did you adapt to that uh, situation? And talking about the playoffs, how can we bring that into effect come the playoffs? Well, yeah, that was uh, probably the first uh, and most important message at training camp back in October was understanding that roles have changed. We've gone from a team that was hunting um, the Golden States, hunting the Milwaukee's, hunting the teams that were ahead of us uh, to try to bring our first championship back to Denver. And we've done that. And so now we're going to get everybody's best. Tonight, they had five starters out. We got their best. Uh, there's never an easy night when they're defending champion. And I think our guys, for the most part, at 15 and 21, at 14 and 2 post All Star break, have really understood that. And so they, our players deserve a ton of credit for understanding what time of the year it is, how important it is to play the right way build the right habits and uh this is a time of year you want to be playing your best basketball and uh, i don't know how many teams you can say across the nba are playing better than the denver nuggets right now it, it, coach says all the time so leave it all. Hey, oh they cut off scotty they cut off my boy hastings ah what'd you do to my boy my guy and and what are you doing man thank you so much Got to try and take my boy here. Always, always, always look forward to five to go and the rest of the muggle heads here. And, and I love you, bro. Thank you, man. That is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. My man, and always here for it. Yeah. I love doing five to go. It's really fun. It's great talking to you guys. Uh, CB, CB play great. Go Jayhawks. Uh, my man, and I appreciate the donation. Helps, brother. I'm telling you, it helps. Now, everything that we make just goes right back into it. And we're hoping to expand the channel more, get better with graphic design. Um, you know, it's tough because most days it's, uh, you're looking at it, it's one, most days it's a one-man operation. But we know to be better, we need to, be, uh, to get more people involved. So it all helps. Thank you. Appreciate it. And it would help, too, if you guys want to get to um, Avid Caddy Golf Lounge. If you can drop by, make a reservation, give them a call, uh, and show up for our live watch-long of the national championship game, uh, that would be huge. That would mean a ton to us. And, of course, we could not do this without Ed the Real Estate. Ed and his team, Dom. Um, in particular with us have been so, we talk to Dom every day. Dom is like part of our family as is Ed. So whether you're buying or selling the most trusted team in real estate is Ed Prather real estate, E P R E. There it is. E P R E Ed Prather.com. All right. Great night for the nuggets. Appreciate everybody watching. You guys are the best. Early game for the Avalanche. Don't forget about my dad's PETA's painting podcast. And I do have the whole podcast. And then I pared it down to just the paintings. So both of those videos debut tomorrow. And um, oh my guy. Malone is awesome. And James Merrillat wanted to fire him. Go ahead, Prather. I do love James, but Lord Almighty, did he get that wrong? Uh, thanks for your time, Joe. Thank you. So tomorrow, Pete is painting podcast. A couple of different versions of it, but it'll debut. If there's any breaking news, we'll have it for you. Early ass game at noon, and then back at it with our regular schedule with uh, abs nuggets, abs nuggets, abs nuggets, abs nuggets the whole week. We're fired up for all of it, and 
Getting closer and closer to the NFL draft that's right around the corner. Have a great night. Thank you for watching.